to their bikes to teach the dangers of driving too close to cyclists. Plain clothes officers will use bike-mounted cameras to catch motorists who get too close for comfort. It comes as a survey found almost three quarters of those asked didn't know that the practice could result in free penalty points. David Shanks has more. Even for the most experienced cyclists, a busy road can be daunting and dangerous. Andy Stewart regularly cycles to his work in Aberdeen, where all too often cars will overtake him, leaving very little room. It's quite unsettling, it can be quite intimidating. I think it's an experience that um, anyone who cycles in towns and cities will have had, and they'll know that it can uh, you know, just throw you off balance sometimes, or uh, you know, cause you to swerve, so it can be quite intimidating. Passing a cyclist too closely in your car is classed as careless driving and as such carries a minimum penalty of three points on your license and a £100 fine. But new research shows that 73% of Scots don't know that. And do you know what the penalties are for drivers who pass cyclists too closely? No, I don't. No, I've never. I didn't know there was a penalty for that, actually. I actually stick with myself, um, so I find it really uh, frustrating when people obviously take over you really close, or they get really frustrated with you when all you're really doing is just cycling. Yes, it's very appropriate. Yeah, I like to make plenty of space for cyclists. Driving too close to people on bikes is an offence and can result in three points on your licence. Today, a major new campaign has been launched to make people aware of the potential implications of driving too close to a cyclist. It can cause accidents, um, unfortunately, three people are seriously injured every week on our roads while, while cycling. Now, cycling is a fantastic thing to do for your health. Unfortunately, there are risks and we need to tackle these risks through education, as we're doing today, through engineering, better cycle lanes, and critically through enforcement as well. The campaign has also received the backing of Police Scotland, who will be sending out plainclothes police officers on bikes to catch out any offenders. David Shanks, reporting Scotland, Aberdeen. You're watching BBC Reporting Scotland. A reminder